bone sarcomas can develop in any of the bones of the skeleton. The two most common types of bone sarcoma in children are osteosarcoma and Ewing sarcoma. Osteosarcoma is the most common type of bone cancer in children. Although osteosarcoma can develop in any bone, it occurs most often in the bones on either side of the knee and in the upper arm. Ewing sarcoma is the second most common type of bone cancer to affect children. Ewing sarcoma is actually a group of four different types of cancer known collectively as the Ewing family of tumours. The commonest symptoms of bone cancer in young people and children are bone pain, often mistaken for growing pains. This pain may come and go initially, but then become more persistent. Tenderness, swelling and fracture, which may occur after even a very minor injury at the site of the weakened bone. The doctor may arrange an initial x-ray and then refer to a cancer specialist who will usually perform a biopsy under anaesthetic. Here, a sample of the affected bone is taken for examination under the microscope. There will be some blood tests and scans such as a bone scan, CT or MRI. These tests enable doctors to define the grade and staging of the tumour. The most important factor affecting the outcome of children is whether or not the tumour has spread or not. If spread has occurred, the most likely place for metastases to be detected in both osteosarcoma and Ewing sarcoma are the lungs. Great advances have been made in the treatment of bone sarcoma in children during the last few decades. In the 1960s, the only available treatment was amputation. Only a small number of patients survived more than two years after diagnosis. And while surgery remains an absolute critical step in the treatment, it's now been shown that giving chemotherapy before and after surgery improves the outlook for patients dramatically. It also allows the majority of people to have limb sparing surgery rather than amputation. Treatment varies according to the size, grading and position of the bone cancer. Some patients with Ewing sarcoma will require radiotherapy in addition to surgery and chemotherapy. In the short term, treatment of osteosarcoma and Ewing sarcoma in children and young adults can cause side effects such as pain, nausea and vomiting, increased risk of infection, hair loss, bruising, bleeding and tiredness. In the longer term, a child and young person may be at risk of a variety of late effects of treatment. These can occur months or even years after treatment has finished and can include abnormal bone growth, heart or lung effects, impaired hearing, infertility and increased risk of developing another cancer. There may also be physical and psychological problems associated with having either limb sparing surgery or amputation. An individual's bone sarcoma prognosis depends on the size of the tumour, site of the tumour, whether it has spread and the response it has had to treatment. Relapse means that the cancer has returned. This can be in the same bone as the original cancer, called local relapse, or the cancer can return in a different place, often in the lungs. This is called a metastasis. If the cancer returns, it will require more treatment. This will probably involve more chemotherapy and sometimes further surgery.